Hello, my name is Peng Ben, and today I will be reviewing a book called The Incredible Home Run Hitter. And it is written by Alavishis Makar. Have you ever watched a baseball game where the, where the battle kept hitting home run after home run, which then turns from home runs to grand slams? Well, today I will be reviewing a book that gives you the account of a home run hitter that it's teams, the team that learns an important lesson in humility. This book is titled The Incredible Home Run Catcher by Aloysius Makai. It was the year of 1917, Gene Bruno going over seas to fight, but this adult was uh, called up from his, uh, from his farm to be a battle. And like any other guy, he was sort of scared, being away from home and such. But people helped him get over the ruts of loneliness and fright. Throughout the first couple of years, he managed to continue getting home run after home run. Numbers began declining them. So, then, anyways, next thing he knew, he was only getting doubles and such. This now 30 year old, who has no name, decided to go for a walk in the countryside when he stumbled across a woodwork. Apparently, he had some sort of uh, magical powers. So, uh, the main star ordered a specially made bat that he thought would help him. He continued to get home runs after home runs over again, until his bat shattered into a million pieces. He rushed back to the old man who made the bat, and this is where he has changed. Because he is so proud, his arrogance and unarrogant, he does not realize that in turn now, that his bat was made from an old walking stick. That is when he decided to return from running from the baseball game. And yes, they lose within five games, but a very valuable lesson was learned. There is a bit more to be considered in the story. It is one of life's most important mores, which is called humility. In the story, the main star's pride and arrogance gets to a point that he can't even see it for himself. He is so full of himself, so confident, that when he fails, he crumbles down. He does not realize that it is not a, is not fact, a piece of wood from some tree that wins and loses the game. It is the player, the one who performs. One thing that everyone needs to remember, no matter how great or how insignificant you may be, always show humility. Humility goes a long way, but pride builds a wall that the only way you can get any further in life is by being knocked, by it being knocked down. That usually happens through a painfully long time while the person must be broken down and remolded. The, 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 the old man puts the main star in his place, and I quote from page six of the incredible home of Hedda story. Then man, he began softly, you don't understand yourself. You see, you're an amazing athlete, but you lack humility. You're so full of yourself that I am shocked you can fit in that suit. This quote shows how the old man, worn out, a worn out woodworker, puts the main star in his place. One thing everyone needs to remember, no matter how great or how insignificant you may be, always show humility. The noteworthy aspect of the story is when he returns to the stadium. He returns as a changed man. And I quote again from page seven of this same story. I realized, I said, stopping for a moment, I realized that I didn't need some silly and magical fact to help me win. He returned, even though he would have been mocked. Every, every thought he was awkward if he had humility. The world of pride had been broken down, even though they lost the next five games. He came out of it a better person. Now, if you were to ask me, say, if you buy this book, I would do it without a second thought. 
This book is well written, and then it's with a clear cut image of a, a proud man who learns a lesson on humility. I strongly advise the people of all ages to read this book. You can buy it on Kindle from the author of over 60 other books named Aloysius Makari. At a good place, I hope you enjoyed this book review and learned a valuable lesson in humility. That is it. Thanks. And I hope you enjoyed this book review.